Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. In the last episode, we finally just got to DJ Ricks on the 18th floor, the top floor of the Centennial Building. Talked to him for about a minute, and then all hell broke loose, and <laughs> they disappeared. Um, yeah, so we were talking with them. They kind of pretended not to know us, even though they'd been making dedications to us the whole time on the radio. And said some stuff about, like, keep your voice down, they'll hear us, they'll come for us. Trying to make an escape, kind of hatching a plan. They seemed very afraid of something, someone listening in and coming for them. And they were absolutely right to be afraid, because they got a call, which had something interesting in it that I only realized right about now. I'll hotwire it. No problem. Uh, that's not gonna work. This place, it, it does strange shit to reality, man. It's like, there's rules you gotta, gotta follow, you, you know what I mean? Bobby Ricks? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Who's it going out to? But I, uh, that's, that's nice of you to think of me. Yeah, real nice. Thank you. They're coming. Whoever the radio is, like, the songs are being dedicated to are people that are being chased, having monsters go after them, right? Because that's been Murphy Pendleton's experience, monsters going after them the whole time. And they've been the one that's had dedications going out to them the whole time. And now suddenly DJ Ricks has a dedication going out to them. They didn't even say it on air, but they were told that they should dedicate themselves, I think. And then suddenly, like... Literally like 20 or 30 seconds later, a bunch of monsters show up and also the cop and some gunshots and things went black and we don't know what happened, but they're gone and I'm here. Okay, let's go try to find them. As much as I hate that cop, they might have saved us. I heard a lot of gunshots and I think they killed some of those monsters. There was at least four of them. I think there's like two or three at the window and then one that grabbed Murphy. Emergency exit. What am I going to do with this? Looks like a pile of clothes or trash bags? Open inventory. I mean, can I set it on fire? No. I I can't imagine what to do with this. Nothing here would do anything. Huh. Oh. Well, there's something back there. I hear wet, squishy noises. Fire exit. Of course. We'll open only in the case of... Oh, I do need to set these on fire, but I couldn't do it before I looked at the fire exit to realize it's only going to open in case of a fire. Well, before that, let's check out here. Diluent? Looks like lighter fluid. Diluent? I've never heard that term before. Also, how the hell did DJ Ricks and the cop get out of here? Highly flammable liquid. <laughs> what a thump. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, is it one of these? Oh, it's one of these sequences.
I have no idea where to go. Okay, this seems promising. I really don't see how throwing those things down is going to stop some weird orb from coming after me. It's not like it's going to trip over them. Go, go, oh, there's a sign pointing to the exit over here. I'm gonna heal. There we go, I just healed. Uh, we're going in circles, I've already been here. I went forwards, so let's go to the right this time. circle again, aren't I? Jesus, those screams are horrifying. Yeah, I am going in a circle. Where the hell is the way out of here? I don't think forwards is it. Let's go back this way. Was there another way to go over here? I'm gonna heal again. There we go. Just heal. Uh, two exit signs. Yeah. This way! Ah, oh. Jesus. In case of power malfunctions, use manual override. Okay, what is... what is this? I, is this supposed to be a mirror? Because it doesn't look like a mirror, it looks weird. Looks like a camera or something. Like a camera's but a screen. Showing the feet of a camera. Oh, wait a minute. The manual override is only visible in the mirror thing? Look at that. Oh, how weird. Oh, that is cool. How many medkits do I have left? Three. Oh god. Oh. Started out by going the wrong way. Come on, damn you. Close. Oh, are we good? Or no, we can just come through. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Aren't I back to where I was before? Uh. No, I guess this is different. It just looks sort of similar. Are you still coming? I guess? I'm a little confused. Why did I- oh, that doesn't look good. Why did I close the door if it didn't stop it? Ew. safe room. This is really cool. So, down, pressing down on the stick goes towards me, pressing up goes away. Left, right, okay. Anything else in here? No. <laughs> I 
elevator with no buttons controls at all. It's not an elevator, it's a cage. That was me. No way. Yeah, that was me. Couldn't be. This is the shower room where we murdered that person. Sort of changed. Looks like my stop. Man, the voice actor for Murphy Pendleton is really good. I love their voice acting. Please don't attack. Oh. Yeah, every time you hear that screaming, that signifies that you've reached a safe point. Is that the weird orbs screaming in anger that it couldn't catch me, or what? I'm guessing those blood spurts are gonna hurt. Cannot be attacked. Heal again. Earn the bronze trophy hypochondriac. Two medkits left. That hurts so bad. I'm like almost dead again just from a couple blood spurts. Acid blood. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. Oh, that gives me the feeling that like behind all these strange scenes is just like the machinery making it all tick and work somehow. Oh, great. Ah, 
Is there any reason I can't just run past you? Why would I fight you? Let's grab a fresh one. Some seriously good set pieces. Oh, they're still coming. Oh. I see. Gotta get in just the right spot so I can get on it. What a weird thing. What is that? Oh, I'm part of a clock. It's like a very ornamentally designed clock hand. This is so fucking cool. I love this imagery. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's like walking over a board, but times ten. Uh... You know, Murphy, I think it, when you're doing something like this, it might be time to drop the uh, very heavy tank that you're holding in your right hand. That would mess up their balance so bad. That was so cool. Oh my god. It's like I'm behind the scenes in the machinery of Silent Hill. There's floating books or notes or documents all in the air. It's not a one-hit kill, but it's a one-hit almost kill. Shotgun gels. I know what that implies. I'm gonna get a shotgun soon. Oh, it's all rickety and moving. It doesn't seem to fall down, though. Maybe it's just unstable, but it doesn't break. Oh, oh god, what's that? What's that do? Hmm, that looks like... Sort of the Silent Hill symbol, I don't know what it's actually called. It looks like the Silent Hill symbol, not drawn quite the same way, but it's got the same basic shapes, where it's got the three small circles on the inside and then two larger rings on the outside. That is so cool! The effects on that stone where it's heated up from all the friction. The brutal scraping sounds.
That's somebody in a wheelchair. Is that the same person who had left their wheelchair in the elevator door in the library? <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> oh, that silly ragdoll. <laughs> that last one was hard. I can, like, move in a general direction just by mashing the stick left or right, but looks like you gotta thread the needle right down the center. Ah! Try number two. I'm gonna be less extreme with my movements. A little bit more gentle, so I'm not just going side to side too much. So we gotta be a little bit on the right, a little bit on the left... <laughs> okay. We're on the outside of the Centennial Building. Oh my god. Murphy! Murphy! Where'd you go? Oh god. Help me. Help! Murphy, run! A lot of those flashes seem to pretty much confirm what I suspected. Remember the note about the person who I think is the one we stabbed in the shower, how they had killed a kid and sexually assaulted them, and their name was Charlie, and I suspected that was our son, and it looks like they are, I think. Look like Murphy, yeah, I've showed a kid, probably Charlie, a, a bike, like, left on its side. Stop doing that. <laughs> okay. Um... Bike left on its side, probably kidnapped by that person. And then a, a cop with them. <laughs> Funny place to take a nap, Sam. You know you could get your death out here, if you're not careful. Got something for you. From St. Maria's. The old orphanage up there on the hill. No. This can't be right. Got your name on it, doesn't it? Seems plenty right to me. Of course, you won't know till you open it, will you? No. Enough of this shit. No. I'm done. I'm finished with the riddles, the mind games. Whatever I did to get here, I've had enough. I want out. Do you understand me? Do you? Son, you still don't get it. It doesn't matter what you want. As for me... It's the same letter untorn. Another copy. I got mail to deliver. <laughs> Goodbye, Murphy. Inquire at the monastery. So can I read the note? Is it in my inventory? No. Hmm, well, I'll, I'll check around in a second, but first I just want to say something. There's, oh, oh, also, even before I say this other thing, this game's really fucking good. Like, seriously, the voice acting and what they're doing in these cutscenes in particular and... The story building that they're doing is really damn good. The set pieces are fantastic. This game's really fucking good. Definitely pretty janky in some ways, the combat in particular, but I'm really liking it. Okay, something else interesting. 
that I just kind of realized is how Murphy Pendleton is such a... They behave in a really interesting way compared to the original four Silent Hills made by Konami. Or even... Even thinking back to it, Origins 2, really most of the Silent Hill games, the first four Origins, maybe Shattered Memories, the protagonist and the other characters have always acted not really like a person might actually act if they were in such an absurd, terrifying, nonsensical situation as all the stuff that happens around Silent Hill. Which I don't think is a flaw or anything. I, it feels like a lot of the other Silent Hill games, like the characters are sort of in a, a haze, in a trance, like they've been sucked into Silent Hill and it's inside of them and... Yeah, just like a haze and like a trance. But Murphy Pendleton is acting very differently. He's acting very much like a person who's fully aware of everything that's happening and doesn't like it and wants to know what the fuck is going on. Right? Like with DJ Ricks, he was like, why the hell are you pretending not to recognize me? You've been calling me all the time or, or mentioning me all the time on the radio. And actually, yeah, DJ Ricks also said, like, please come help me. And then the mailman is like, fuck this shit. I'm tired of these riddles. Tell me what's going on. He's very much like not in a trance and is very present and very aware of what's happening around him. Whereas the other characters in other Silent Hill games, not so much, more trance-like. Again, not a good or bad thing, just different, interesting. 